On Saturday, Quebec, Ontario, Saskatchewan and Alberta all saw record-breaking new cases. Dr. Tam has warned that this may mean hospitals soon reach a breaking point. Canada continues to see sharp increases in daily COVID case numbers as the Prime Minister and Chief Public Health Officer ask Canadians to double down on their efforts to contain the virus. COVID's exponential growth rate can be halted, but the curve needs to be flattened immediately. We were quite successful in that first wave, and we can be successful again if we rapidly get the um, resurgence under control. So... We've done it the first time. We've got even more tools now. We should be able to do this. COVID cases have increased sharply across the country, with Ontario and B.C. reporting spikes in daily case counts starting in September, and Manitoba Public Health showing a similar increase at the end of October. Since the first confirmed Canadian COVID case in late January, we've reached over 300,000 cases in 10 months. We have entered an exponential growth period, and that is, of course, deeply concerning because... Um, we do continue to see our growth rate above one. It's not like we'll grow from 1,000 to then 1,200 and then kind of slowly over time that it will grow very quickly. So if these measures that were in place, put in place last Friday are not enough, we will absolutely be bringing forward recommendations for additional measures because we are in a critical time. Health officials estimated in April that with strong infection controls, Canada could limit COVID deaths to 11,000 individuals, a grim figure that Canada has already passed. Dr. Theresa Tam says this means we're outside those projections. Whenever the projections are beyond the bounds of the confidence interval, it's telling me that it's a signal that we've deviated from that path and that we need to double down uh, right now on our measures. Dr. Tam says with explosive growth, not only will hospitals be overwhelmed, public health's ability to act is limited. Contact tracing is doable for small outbreak clusters where each tracer may only need to find five or ten contacts. But with exponential growth, each of those contacts may have exposed another five or ten people who in turn expose even more a monumental task for local health systems, which may not have the people or money to do the job. We have fewer acute care beds, fewer ICU beds, most certainly much fewer, far fewer than our neighbours to the south, but, but generally pretty low in terms of OECD countries. And that's just, you know, your chronic underfunding of, of health care. And if you're going to do that, you need to chronically overfund public health. But that hasn't been done either. Now, Dr. Tam says there will be another modeling session this Friday to try and chart the virus's possible future growth path in Canada. But there's no indication yet on when those new models will be released. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.